Yes, is an Academy Award nominated Grammy and Tony winning actress for her work in the film Harriet and The Color Purple on Broadway. Please welcome to the show, Cynthia Revo. <laughs> Can you freaking stand it? Hey, welcome <laughs> to the Amber Ruffin Show. Thank you, everyone. Cynthia Rivo, you are here because you are a perfect human being. <laughs> you are a Broadway star, a movie star, a TV star, and the singer. You're an inspiration to any creative. You are a supermodel fashion baby. I can't stardom take knows no it. bounds. You've figured out how to be your authentic self, and it's inspiring. I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, now, we met on Sunday at the Tony Awards. Yes, he did. Where you looked amazing. So did you. Everyone needs to take a look at you. Look at my little friend. <laughs> Which camera? This guy. Just kidding. This one. Yeah. <laughs> look, that's her. Yay! <laughs> this is the prettiest thing. How did you become a perfect fashion baby? <laughs> um, I, I don't even know if I'm a perfect fashion baby. I just love fashion, I love style, and I love being able to express myself in, through that form. Um, I have wonderful people who help to create things, to make things, to mess around with the silly ideas I have in my head, and they let me play, and that's kind of what happens. Yeah. Um, how many of you guys are shocked at her accent? Yeah, yeah. You don't, you, don't, you don't see it coming. You don't see it coming. <laughs> Does it sneak up on it you? It sneaks up on me. Good. And I like it. Good. Um, <laughs> Cynthia. Yes? You were nominated for an Oscar for playing Harriet Tubman in Harriet. Yeah. You played Aretha Franklin on TV. You won a Grammy and a Tony for the color purple. So, and an Emmy. Yeah. It's amazing. So and an Emmy. Keeping all that in mind, Thanks. what I want to know is, what was it like to tour Sister Act in the UK? Crazy. What? Thank you for asking that question. Nobody ever asks that question. I and it was know. nuts. Was it? Was absolutely nuts. We did it for, I want to say we did it for a year and a half, maybe 14, 14 months. And it was mad. <laughs> mad. We went to every uh, city in the UK. Some cities are wonderful. Yeah. Other cities are not so wonderful. Mm. Um, so you go to like Manchester and it's incredible because it's like, it feels like like London really and truly. You go to Liverpool, there's like a feeling about it. Every, everybody talks like that. So the accents are different. So, you, so you're listening to everyone and you're like, well, what's that? What's that sound you're making? It's different. Um, and then you go to Sunderland and you're like, where the f am I? I don't know where I am. This is not where I live. Oh, at all. But it was really, really wonderful. And I loved the musical. I loved singing. I used to mess around every night. So there's this, there's a song at the end of the show. Um, Once you start to spread it, baby, if you let it, love comes like right on back to you. That is the, that's how it's supposed to sound. Okay. I used to, I used to, I would be, I would, it would take such liberties. So I'd be, love comes right on back to you. And it's like, Finish the note. Just finish it, Cynthia. We've got to get to the end of the show. But I loved it. It was so much fun. I the costumes were fun. It was spot fun and sparkly and ridiculous. And and I had a great time doing it. Yeah. But it, it's a, it was long. That's was long. <laughs> I yeah. can't imagine being on tour for fourteen months. It's epic. Is that the longest you've ever been on tour? Yes. Fourteen months. Yes. And I will never do it again. God bless it. That sounds terrible. Yes. But also, when someone wants you to finish a note. They are wrong, and you are right. Thank you very much. Thank um, you. <laughs> so, Cynthia, yeah. you advocate for making sure that you're paid the right amount and having a team that knows how to do your hair, yeah. makeup, and light you properly. Yeah. When did you realize it was time to, to start asking these questions? When I came out of my mother's womb. <laughs> she came out talking about, when, when? Can we turn down the overhead lights? Please. Thank you. Um, it was, it, I, I, you know, I, I have a great team who's brave enough to like ride with me really and truly. So um, I would, I think when I first started doing shows and especially when I got here, when I, when I did the, the Color Purple and we started like branching out and doing film and TV, my team just like, 
they work with me and I ask them what I want. I ask them for what I need and they go out and do it. And, and it's, it's also like once you've had experience when it's not right, you, I'm a Capricorn. Um, When's your birthday? January the 8th. Nine. Are you joking? Yes, I'm telling the truth. January the 8th, January the 9th, both Capricorns. That's right. Terex, January 13th. 80 what? 80s what? <laughs> 79, bud. What? Yeah, dude. Are you joking? No, man. That's wild. Why I'm do you look old, younger but... than me? Oh, thank you. You look like a baby I had. <laughs> <laughs> um, cheers. Did I get you a drink? What? Yes, you did. Oh, good. Here you go. Um, cheers to asking for what you need and always, getting it. Always and forever. Mm. That's good. Is it good? Yay! That's good. Yeah. Okay, I mean, gosh, I remember having to be like, I need you to have the supplies I need it's so just, that I need it's to just... my hair. I mean, the fight. Oh my it's god! Just, I remember I did this. I did this um, like this gala thing, and they had said you don't need to bring your makeup. But we're going to get you ready there, and we'll have makeup artists on site, and everything will be fine. And always, mm -hmm. here's the thing: as a black girl, you know that does not mean shit. So bring your own makeup. So I brought my own makeup, I put, and I was like, I'll leave it there just in case. I remember I got to the table at where this makeup, bless her heart. Uh, <laughs> was supposed to be working on me. And she looked at me, she goes, oh. And I was like, is everything okay? She's like, I, I don't think I have your color. I was like, what, what do you mean you don't have my color? What, I, I didn't, I thought I was just doing the models. I was like, well, well, well I am one of them today. <laughs> so, so have you not got the shades that I, no, I, I don't have them. I said, all oh, right, hold on a minute. When I got my bag, these are the shades you need. You should always carry those colors with you. That, that. I just, but I guess the point is that you should just never have to do that. You know, like you're a makeup artist and so you should expect anyone to be in your seat who could be any color whatsoever. And your job is to do, my, do makeup. It isn't to do just this makeup. It's to do makeup full stop. So, so I just never wanted to experience that anymore. So I made sure, I have who I need on set with me, and so I don't ever have to ask those questions, and I know that they will always have the colors that they need. Woo! Yes! When I grow up, I'm gonna be just like you. Okay, <laughs> now it is time for the speed round. Hit me. These questions are very important. Go on. They, they determine who wins the speed round. Okay. okay it's you versus you. All right. Okay, me versus me. Good. Now, okay. uh -huh. I ask this of everyone. You're in Dream Girls. What part do you play? Laurel, Effie, or Dina? Ooh. I'm gonna play Laurel just because I love because I love that that moment at the end. Laurel, Laurel loves Jimmy. Loves Jimmy. <laughs> Laurel loves Jimmy. But Laurel and Jimmy are through. It's, you know, that is the correct answer. for your answer. buck. It's like, oh, yes. she got it. There you go. You're um, always going to get a round of applause after that. You have played a lot of icons, but who do you want to play you in your biopic? Oh, I don't know if we found her yet. <laughs> I, I don't know, know if that's we found right. her yet, but she there's someone out there. <laughs> she might. She might somewhere. And I know that she might not even be born. She might be in school right now. Who knows? But I'm looking forward to whoever does it. She might be sitting next I to I hope I'm alive when it happens. <laughs> This is it. She might be sitting next to me. Good. Now, I, hope, I hope I meet her. I, I think you're going to. That would be nice. Because I'll write it. Now, you have to choose one job for the rest of your life. Yes. Broadway performer. Yes. Screen actor. Yes. Or just straight up singer. Oh, just one? Which one do you one? choose? Just one. You only get one. The lightning round is tough, and it is not fast. <laughs> 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 nice little lightning, yeah. Um, I don't know. Um, one of oh, I can't. Why must you do this to me? You have to choose one. Ooh. And the world is waiting. I'm. Oh, 
I'm gonna say, you know. Yeah, you know what? Yes. I'm gonna say screen actor because you know what? You know what I'm doing on screen? What? Playing a, a, a witch that sings. So I'm still gonna be able to do both. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I could do it all on screen. That's right. <laughs> Wicked, it's coming and it's going to be good as. <laughs> God, I can't wait to go see that. Okay, this is the last and most important question. Okay. Years ago, my friend and I came to see you in the color purple on Broadway. Yes. We cheered very loudly. Did you see us? Yes. <laughs> yes! All right! Cynthia Rebo, everyone!